Hello everyone and welcome. This is going to be my first Unity tutorial. This is going to be for complete beginners who don't have Unity, don't know the correct version. I'm just going to go over the basics of the right installation, how to get that set up, and uploading your very first avatar. So I'm going to be linking this in the description, but essentially what you're going to want to do is, I like to download Unity Hub first, so we're going to click on that. And uh, we're going to get that saved to our downloads. Okay, so it looks like that's downloaded for me. So I'm going to just be opening that up. It might ask if uh, you want to make changes to your device. You just click yes, click I agree, and then hit install. So I already have this installed. So uh, this should just install like normally for you. You hit install. So this isn't going to happen for you, but uh, because I already have it, I'm going to click cancel. But the, you just uh, go to the end and click finish. So once you have the Unity Hub installed, we're just going to open it up here. Unity Hub. This, this will be the one that probably comes up in your finder. So as you can see, we're going to have no Unity version. It may ask you to sign in as well. Um, in that case, you may just need to create a Unity account click on create one. It should be absolutely free. You can enter your email, password, and as long as you acknowledge that it is a personal license, it's not for any business, you won't have to pay any money. So the VRChat SDK works on a very specific Unity version. Um, which one we're going to want to install is the 2019.4.31 installation. And because we already have Unity Hub, we can click install this version with Unity Hub. Uh, this this might open in your browser. I'm just going to click open Unity Hub. So this is going to open up here. I like to have these ones selected as well as the documentation, but you don't necessarily need the documentation if you don't want to. But I like to make sure that these two are checked. Again, my screen went black. It might ask you if you want to make uh, if it wants to make changes to your device. You just click yes and it should be installing. So this will take a little while before we get to the end, but I'll just skip right through. Okay, so we finally have Unity 2019.4.31 installed. It might say F1, it might not, it doesn't really matter. So we're gonna go and click on the Projects tab. You're not gonna have all these projects, these are just my other projects that I've made. We're gonna click on New. Make sure you are clicking on 3D Project. Uh, name it whatever you want, I'm gonna name this Jake, because that's the package that we're going to be uploading today. Click on create, and it will take a while to load, so I will just cut to when it comes back. Okay, so this will be your very first Unity scene. There's not going to be much in it, but what we're going to need to do is go to the VRChat website. So the next thing you're going to want to install is VRChat SDK. At the moment, that's the 3.0 Avatar SDK. So you're going to want to go to VRChat.com. Again, I'll have the link in the description, but you're going to want to log in, enter your username and password, and you go to the download button. So for creating worlds, you would download the world SDK, but right now we're dealing with avatars. So we're going to want to click on the download SDK3 avatars. So once that download's complete, we now have the Unity package. You're going to want to go to your downloads folder and note that we have the SDK3, the latest update for VRChat. So once we have the VRC SDK installed, we can go back over to Unity, find our VRC SDK installation. I'm going to put that right in. This, this tab will appear. Uh, this is the drop down menu. I like to check what it's importing. So this is the VRC SDK. We're just going to click import. All right. So once the VRC SDK is installed, you'll notice one of two things is that there is now a folder in assets and there is a tab up here, which will help us upload in the future. So to sign in, you're going to need to put your username and password. So one thing I've noticed about the SDK is that you really shouldn't press tab after you've entered your name. Just click on the password. And after you've entered the password, don't press enter either. Otherwise, if you click sign in, something is going to mess up. I don't know why, but it just does. All right, so I'm now signed in. I'm logged in as Bojack and I'm allowed to publish worlds and avatars. So we're just going to close this for now because we don't need it yet. Next, we're going to go back to our downloads folder. And this is where you're going to need to get your avatar package or whatever it is that you have that you're going to upload. So for me, this is in my packages folder. 
And this is the Jake 3.0 by Simon. It came in this RAR file, so essentially some may do this, some may not. There is a readme text that I needed to read before uploading. Yours may not come with this. But essentially what this readme text is trying to tell me is that I need to import all of the different packages included before I upload my avatar package. So that's what we're going to be doing right now. First, we're going to upload the Dynamic Bones, then Poyomi Pro, then Arctoon, uh, then DPS, which I'm not going to end up doing because I don't actually have it, and then the Avatar Unity package itself. You see Dynamic Bones, import. And finally, we're going to install the Unity package for the Avatar itself. So this is why I like to make the menus smaller, because we can see we've already installed Poyomi Shader, so there's no real reason to have that included. As for avatars, we can see that we have the 3.0 Jake in there. That's not a folder that we already have, so we can include that. We have his Unity package, Rivo's Prefabs, which is not a folder here, but the VRC SDK, I'm just going to uncheck because we do have the latest version installed already, and it might just cause further problems. So once we've unchecked everything with the folder that we've already have here, I'm going to click import. Okay, so if anything appears like this in your downloads, you're just going to want to hit fix now because it'll avoid any problems later when uploading. If you don't hit fix now, most likely when you're building it, it'll also give you an option to fix that issue. So no worries if you accidentally click ignore. So as we can see, the avatar creator has provided a scene for us with the avatar. And in most cases for avatars, this is what you're going to be able to see. Sometimes this will be in a folder, like you may see the avatar's name. You click on that and there, there might be like an, an extra scene here or something like that. But you're always going to want to look for the, the Unity logo with the avatar's name. So as we can see, he's pretty much ready, but if you want to uh, ignore locomotion for six point tracking, so this is if you have full body tracking and you don't want the legs to move when you're moving around in VRChat, you can just disable that. That's what I like to do. This is an important thing as well, the pipeline manager. You may see it, this at the top above the avatar descriptor, but I'm seeing it at the bottom here. If there is an option for you to detach this, then you should detach it. Otherwise, there's going to be issues when you're uploading. You're going to want to make sure to click detach. So I'm going to go into the VRChat SDK, click on it, click on show control panel, and we can see there's a few warnings here. So material on this avatar has custom keywords. Please consider optimizing it. So we don't technically need to fix this, but it does optimize it a little bit. So I'm going to hit auto fix. I'm going to click on this. Click delete all keywords. Click on this, delete all keywords. And if you have any issue uploading your avatar and you haven't fixed this, I would highly recommend it. Everything else, this isn't really a warning. This is just telling you what the performance ranking is going to be on your avatar. So if you're all ready, you're just going to hit build and publish for Windows. All right, so once that's complete, this builder will no longer be needed. So you can just exit that. You're going to have to name your avatar. I'm just going to name mine Jake. So for the image, you're going to want to click on scene and you're going to want to find the camera. So the VRC cam. There it is. Once you click on it, there should be arrows, but if there are no arrows, you're going to want to click W and you can just move the camera to wherever you want. And put it really close to his face here. And once that's good, you can just go back into the game tab. And I'm going to click the above information is accurate. I have the rights to upload this content to VRChat. Check mark that and upload. All right, so you'll know that it has successfully uploaded once it says update complete, launch VRChat to see your uploaded content. Click OK. And it'll take you back to this menu. So essentially what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do control at plus S to save, or you can just do file save. Now I'm going to open up VR chat just so we can test our avatar. All right. So we're back here in our world. 
I'm going to click on avatars and you should see a my creations tab that is now opened and your very first avatar should be right there. Change into the avatar. We can see we should have all the features. Yep, so it seems like his mouth is responding to mine and everything seems to be looking good. Let me know in the comments if there's any more tutorials you want me to do, anything quest related, I would love to teach you guys. But for now, my name is Bojack and I will see y'all later. Peace. <laughs>